Hi and welcome back. So in the last video I left you off saying that in what we have done there is still something that's incomplete and here's what it is. Let's say I do a hash include math functions dot h right here. So as you can see I've got two hash include math functions dot h right here and now if I do a gcc dash e main dot c and I get my main dot i file and if I open this file right here and I scroll to the very bottom now as you can see it uh, wrote the function declarations here and it wrote the function declarations here as well so there was a du duplication of function declarations which is uh, which might not give me a, an error in my compiler the compiler version that I'm using but it might give you an error sometimes if there is some duplication of uh, header file Im imports. So to avoid that what we do is we add something called a header guard here. So here what I can do is I say uh, hash if and def and I give it some name so I'm going to name it math functions. So what I'm saying here is if this math functions is not defined then I need you to proceed so here I define it so math functions right here and I need to add an end if here so now together what all of this says is if math functions is not defined which it won't be the first time when this gets included so it says if it's not defined then first define math functions and then write these prototypes which are given here till you encounter an end if. So this part is only going to be encountered once because the next time it comes here it's going to see that math functions is already defined and I've already told it that proceed further only if not defined if math functions is not defined. So Let's go ahead and first get rid of our uh, main.i file and let's create it again and now let's open our main file and scroll to the bottom. So here as you can see it does have it does have the math functions dot h twice right here uh, but it has only taken the declarations once my function pro prototypes have no longer been repeated. So this is what a header guard means. It basically uh, stops things from being imported or included twice. So this is really useful because uh, sometimes what's going to happen is these conflicts are going to give us errors. We uh, This is very common when we have a lot of files. So if I have let's say another uh, file called module.c and I, inside of module.c I'm using math functions so I might have a tendency to import my math functions there as well. So when I end up importing my math functions.h file in multiple files within my program and then I import my module file my module.c or module.h file in my main there might be a repetition of math functions.h and uh, of course you uh, probably won't do something like this declare uh, like including it twice uh, one after the other so this you might be able to avoid but when it goes to multiple files it might be difficult to avoid so we always use these header guards in all of our header files so this is really important and the third thing that I want to discuss I won't be discussing it in this video I'll leave it for the next one but what I want to discuss is uh, when I'm actually trying to run my program what I have to do here's the steps that I have to perform I need to do gcc math functions dot c dash o math functions dot o this is my first step I forgot to see here so this is my first step right here then my next step is doing gcc uh, main dot c and math functions dot o to give me uh, main dot exe or main dot out if you're a linux user and then i can run my main file 
So that's a lot of commands that I have to write to get my actual executable program. So we are going to see a method to simplify all of this process. So we'll write a file and we'll just uh, uh, give a command to run that that file and that will do all of this for us. So we'll see that in the next video. Stay tuned for it.